So, guys, uh, someone, a multi-billion dollar corporation, has gotten a little upset with uh, little old Angry Joe and his friend's opinion on their episode. We have been blocked worldwide uh, for our Halo Episode 2 Angry Review. Uh, and this is a manual. I looked it up. This was been a, a manual block by CBS. It is blocked in all territories, blocked on mobile by CBS CID. And this is a manual blocked. Um, I'll put it up on the screen right here. Meaning somebody went through and got fucking pissed off that we did not like the episode and gave it such a low rating. Uh, because what? What is uh, the content in question uh, that is unacceptable to use? Well, let's see. 10, no, I'm sorry, 13 seconds of a scene. 13 seconds of a piece of uh, a clip used as their excuse to completely block the entire video. Uh, so you know what? Uh, if that's how they want to play this, I'm going to go ahead and um, counterclaim this. But at the same time, I am rendering a version of our Angry uh, Halo review episode 2 without any clips whatsoever because I want to get the video up so that you guys can still see it. So that's what this is right now. Uh, while we see what the hell we can do about this. Probably nothing. I cannot believe CBS is acting like a petulant child because their Halo series was not well received by everybody in the world. And you don't want to know why this is hypocritical because our first Halo review used clips of 14 seconds, 13. I always keep my clips to 10, 12, 11 seconds in order to uh, avoid this situation. But that first one was perfectly fine because we were positive about how the battle looked cool and we were hopeful for the future even though we were worried that one's fine but apparently this one oh no this one can't you do the same thing and we've got to block it worldwide because uh somebody is fucking butthurt all right so here's our opinion that butthurt a billion dollar company check it out Hey guys, welcome back to our Halo the TV series review uh, for Paramount Plus's digital subscription service. Their big show to attract video game Is it fans Halo, and Halo fans <laughs> into it. We are now at episode two. We just finished watching it. And... Uh, <laughs> <The stinker? laughs> no action. All exposition, all stuff that I literally do not care about. And I do like some of the backstory of uh, John. I do like his connection with Soren. That was cool because if you if you get into the books and the comics and the lore of the originals and the Spartan programs and there's like Spartans before Spartans and stuff like that. And it's cool. It's cool kind of seeing that played out in this character Soren. And I like this character Soren. Um but this was uh, really a boring episode, and honestly, you could if if there was never any marketing, it was never marketed as uh, Halo, and there wasn't the Pelican that arrived at the asteroid space station, you would never know that this is fucking Halo until the about forty four minutes in. You wouldn't even know it's Halo because that's when he's like, okay, I got to go, puts his helmet back on. It's like, oh, oh, we're watching Halo, and then gets in the Pelican and flies off, and that. That's it. And then we get some of the stalwart Dawn stuff, uh, the ship that picks up his beacon. But anyways, uh, so this is a huge exposition dump. This is basically more of the extremely boring US, UNSC politics. Yes. Uh, the Admiral and uh, Hazley, uh, Halsley. Uh, Halsey. Halsey, doctor, fighting each other. And, um, and then... John looking for somebody that he trusts because essentially he's fucking gone rogue. Uh, and uh, and he finds trust in one person that was also in the Spartan program with him, Soren, who escaped. Soren's a better guy than I am. Mm -hmm. I'd have been like, no, exactly. fuck you. Fuck yeah, you. I don't fucking owe you. The way you're fucking talking to me, get the fuck yeah, out of here. Yeah, you were going to kill me yeah. and then... Yeah. 
I, I noticed he that too. Five towards minutes? the end, I was like, "Fuck!" He gave this, me five minutes. At this, I was I was kind of mad at John by this. I'm like, I'm supposed to like John. I'm supposed to like Master Chief can do no wrong. I need your help. He's a paragon of badassery, <laughs> and I started. Like, Shut the fuck up, John. <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, in this one, John is a lost puppy. He's not even a fully formed human. It's like the RoboCop without, you know, an adult brain. He's like, who am I? Yeah. What am I doing He's with my life now? He's got to fight against his programming. Fight against the UNSC he programming. He had middle age crisis. He's trying to figure <sighs> out what to do now. <laughs> what characters in the show do you like? Go through them. I don't like the doctor. Sor- Soren... Ma- that was about it, only because Master Chief. Chief. Yes. Master Chief sometimes. I don't like. I, I don't like Master Chief in this. Sometimes he's, he's, represent, he's presented yes, as a little, a little bit of a piece of shit. Yes. I definitely don't like Quan. I don't like the Doctor. I don't, I don't, really don't like, like the Quan. Admiral. Don't like the Doctor's daughter. Oh, did you know? In, oh, damn it! I should have mentioned this episode one. I like that Scottish dude that dies at the beginning. Oh right? yeah, so he's yeah. like Australian or Scottish. He's got this cool accent. I'm like, if that dude that guy dies, I'm out. Oh, that's why he gave us a little thing. Just because of that guy. Yeah, he was out. Yeah, I can't think of any characters. It's like or factions. It's just like, all right, well, in, in this we've got uh, fascists that are now running a. Don't planet. care about Amanda Keys. She's such a wide-eyed idealist. I'm like, oh, she's going to be such a weak character. You would have never got that position within the yeah, UNSC. Yeah, a mass war between human beings in the middle of our war with aliens is totally worth this. You know, it's like no, no. And then this Admiral. Parangoski, don't like. Like, it's like, oh god, you, you're a dumbass. Like, I'm gonna shut, shut all your funding down. He's like, okay, then the whole human race is dead. Yeah, like, you, you, just whatever. I don't like any of the characters in the show, and in this 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 episode, I, I do we, like wh- the elites and the uh, but, high high uh, yes. council. Okay, so any anyone portrayed by a human being in the show, <laughs> uh, and because I, I agree with you 100, percent I think that mer- like the the way that the covenant are presented are amazing, and yeah. I want to see that. I want to see the battles in the covenant now. This this planet, they put a lot of work into the setting of the planet. They, you know, they've got cable cars and their CG stuff. And it, it, well, as it I'm looks watching, stupid, it, by the way, the little uh, cable car. Everything, yeah. the, the other stuff is cool, but the cable. It's like the moment you go away from the lore and have to come up with your own designs, you fucked it up. Yeah, and it, as while, while they were doing that, I was like, wow, this is actually like the, the level of design that they did is, is impressive as far as cost goes. And like, wait a minute, how many battles did we cut out by for having this? Mm-hmm. It could we just done this? Via, I don't know, hologram. Like, we just talk to him. He just talks to him and, be, you know, and we don't yeah. have to have the scene and then we get to have another battle or something later. Yeah. But I, I just, I, the entire time I'm watching, he's like, man, I don't like any of these characters. You're right. Uh, I was Joe? more intrigued with the, Dude, uh, with wait, the train on. cart. The train? <laughs> the what? I was, the, the cart. I was the like, wait, wait, the cable cart. I was like, what the fuck? It just jumps <laughs> off. It jumps wait. off and it has to grab on. I know. What wait, happens so if it, it's if so it so doesn't so grab on? You're like, fuck. It, no, no, there's no. no well, listen to Alex. It just flows <laughs> magic. out. In no. The, it's magic. No. And it slams it's in. It's the same reason that Master Chief's bullets it's do so more stupid. damage. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm with you. I'm like, well, why, would you cre- this? why would you invent this? It's so dangerous. It's an ambling thing. That's got to be a Spielberg, Indiana Jones garbage bullshit. What I say, the second you go away from the lore, like this is fucking stupid. Yeah, it's just like just Wait, shut out. <laughs> Let's talk about some of that in the spoiler. That was the most. Like, <laughs> that was the most like tension I had. I was like, oh shit, are they gonna die? <laughs> Yeah, you, like that so, was definitely Temple of Doom shit, right? Yeah, like, that was. It's like okay. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so this episode is about Master Chief trying to break away from his programming, not knowing what to do. Has this key? The artifact, learns the from a crazy dude. Goes to Soren. Soren has a crazy dude on his installation, which had been captured by the thing before, and kind of tells him, "Hey, this is special. You're special." And you're the blessed one. Yeah. So that's kind of this. There's. Nothing else. And then all the fucking Earth politics shit that we don't give a shit about, you know. Yeah. Uh, the that's doctor the thing, talking yeah, that's with admirals. That, uh, that bores me because she's like the admirals having a fight with Halsey. Political maneuvering then, to get our Cortana program back going. Yeah, and then uh, Moran, Dr. Moran is like, well, that technology is actually my section. How come she gets to have it? <laughs> Mom, you're taking all the stuff. Hey, listen, you like your mom, but you're not. You're not polished. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So they're fighting between the little keystone thing. I'm like, all right, I don't. I don't. So let me let me put that question to you. What what are the characters you like? Sauron. Sauron. That that's yeah. Sauron. So I say I can't. I, I. you know, John, they kind of fucked up, uh, but I like, yeah, kind of like half dick. like him, the I'm part of him that's more like our our John. Um, don't like the don't like the doctor. Don't like Quan. 
Don't like M- Mackie is her name. She's the human member of the Covenant. Uh, Charlie Murphy is her name. Charlie Murphy. Hey. Charlie Murphy. And then uh, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, Admiral didn't like her. Didn't like the main fucking human Admiral. Doesn't get enough to feel like you know. Oh, you know, one of the yeah. badass guys. You like Cortana. No, it's, I don't. Don't like Cortana. Don't like Miranda Oof. Keys. Don't like her. <laughs> oh, Jacob Keys. Don't like. Uh, I Jacob, guess oh, Jacob a little bit. Uh, maybe maybe a little Jacob. I'll agree with you. I do like Vanek, 134. Yeah. Then you say it's 134? Yeah. yeah. yeah like, but he's got like four, four lines. I like all the silver team. Like yeah. all the silver team. All the like, silver team. Because they haven't said too much yet. Yeah. <laughs> like they haven't been They're just there to kick ass. Yeah. They're what we know. Yeah. <laughs> the game and kick ass. And like, come on, let's kick some yeah. ass. Anyway, so really kind of a bad episode. Um, kind of. And di- didn't enjoy it because it's going off on its own silver timeline stuff that it wants to do. Um, we, we also get a little bit more of Charlie Murphy's character, uh, Maki, who... A little too revealing, huh? Wow, that was yeah, weird. It's yeah, like, yeah, let's get naked. It's, side like, boobie. it's like, why? Um, <laughs> okay, thank you, I guess. Like, because we need a hook. Booty. We need a hook. We need to like, keep people coming back. Say, hey. Hey, man, she might get naked again in the future. Yeah. Don't hate her. Do you hate her now? She got a side boob. All right. It now, worked for Game of I, Thrones, right? I, I, yeah. I, it doesn't make any sense, does it? No. And, and and what's worse is they cut back and forth between John talking uh, and her undressing. And John is saying, like, and realizing he's special in some way. She's special, he, too. He she's got the scars. And he feels different. Back. And she's got scars. She's, how are they connected? Well, clearly that's what they're doing. They're cutting back and forth. I think maybe they're they're connected in the same way. Either they're both of the blessed ones in, in this universe that can interact with the keys. Does that mean, you know, does that mean, like, we, you know, that's the forerunners and we are the... Um, you know, the caretakers, and some people have it in their DNA. But why don't all hu- I, I don't know. I don't know where it's going. It's got to get explained. I don't know. <laughs> what, Only some happening. people have access to it. Only some people are the caretakers that the, the, the forerunners intended to interact yeah. with their technology. And eventually, we're going to Halo. Because we're, we're not there now. We're not there now. Please, let's get to Halo. I'm, I'm, I'm screaming and running. Let's run to Halo. Because this is not working. It's not mm-hmm. working. Um, and maybe once we get to Halo, it'll start working again. <sighs> Final verdicts. Uh, three. It's getting a three out of ten. This is getting half the score that the first one did. This is not average television. This yep. is this is boring. Yep. I don't think the exposition was handled particularly well. I th- th- He's got 40 people pointing, for some reason, AKs at him at the beginning of, of this episode. And, you know, he knows he's invulnerable. And so the first thing he does is the rest of the time he's there, these people, not everyone knows, on this entire installation that he's a good guy. He's walking around with his helmet off the rest of the That's time. That's another thing. It was so it's fucking stupid. It's just an excuse to have, yeah, this whole episode he's got his helmet I don't know off. if he's trying to be incognito or whatever, but like, he's drawing attention, but he's not wearing his protection. Yeah, so it's he like, wears they, all... They can just shoot him in the fucking face. He's like, that's a Spartan. We don't like him. It's our vision of John. We don't like yeah. him. Our We're going to shoot him. Chief. Yeah, so I don't, I don't like any... It just not a whole lot of this makes sense. I don't necessarily care about the politics of of Quan's planet and how, you know, like the, the new fascists have moved in and they've taken over and the fascists are allying with the, the UNSC. And so they're also kind of back to get it. They're the bad guys. We don't know if we can trust them. We don't know who's good and who's bad. It's like... I, I don't think that we needed this because I think that the story is interesting on, 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 uh, on its own. Been. And it, yeah. it's not a complicated one. It's not one that I think it's one that even people who have not played the video games would appreciate and understand. Yeah. And they decided to go off and do their own thing. And what, what's going to happen is when you take an IP that people know and love and you do your own spin on it, they're going to compare it to the original. And if you don't do as good of a job, you're going to have people giving you shit. And this is me giving you shit. You did not, in the first two episodes, do anywhere near as good of a job as a video game from the fucking early 2000s. Mm-hmm. And that's a shame, because I do love these. And I, if it's not if this, this show isn't for me, my parents don't want to fucking watch this TV show. People who don't know the video games don't want to watch it. So it's like, who did you make this for? I honestly don't know. Now, uh, to counter some of that, the, 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 some people, I can already fucking see them typing. It's like, well, some of this was in the lore and this and that. It's like, yes, but 
I imagine how much more effective it would have been that we're in these badass fights, we're fighting the covenant, we find all this stuff, and then the politics start to get in the way. It's like we're on the verge of you know this and that, and then these these conflicts start to arise. But the it's just the focus is in the wrong areas mm. in this yes. particular. I don't know if it's cost cutting measures, what we speculated on, or if it's just bad writers. But in this case, it's probably both. Uh, you know, so what, was the, what, what about what your was rating? The, what was Joe? the key takeaway from episode two? Uh, I don't want to watch episode three. Uh, exactly, Joe. It, yeah, because it's uh, pointless. By exactly. the end, he just goes right back to the UNSC where where we were at the you last episode. Yeah, you could have just turned yourself in and Quan said, off. drop it, drop her. Oh, yeah, he okay, did drop. He okay, he dropped Quan off to be safe. And he's a blessed one. Go. Yeah, we could figure that out. He got a sure. cool happy face. I, nice I, I, don't forget the happy face. Yeah, there was sense. not a big uh, takeaway from this one. This one was a super spoilers. big filler. Uh, forced tension between the human race that I don't really give a shit about. It's like, hey, now we're going to yeah, have human, tension. Yeah, you mean the human on human conflict? Yeah, we now we're going to have tension fuck. between Dr. Miranda and Halsey, and again with the uh, Admiral I, for it, the Keystone. Yeah, and it's Dr. Halsey and uh, Miranda. I don't think she's an admiral, but her father is. Well, the admiral, the, the one that's the shutting runner. down the program. Yeah, that's so, Margaret. We, we, yeah. Margaret Perengoski. Isn't she the admiral? Yeah, she's an admiral. Okay, yeah. It's a stupid thing, like she's shutting down the program and then the keystone. It's like it's mine, mine. So there's going to be some altercation there. Oh, I thought you. Okay. And then uh, Quan is oh, just being dropped off. He's like, hey, take care of her. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, Soren should have been like, hey, what the fuck do you want? You only gave me five minutes, and now you want me to help you with this and babysit? Yeah, and potentially have like, the entire least, UNSC destroy my entire fucking utopia creation. At least he, like in the beginning, he should have some pushback or something. He's like, oh, come on in. Like, this should have done something else, but whatever. Yeah, yeah we are. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so what is your rating? I'll probably go with the three. I don't want to watch this. Okay. I'm done with it <clears throat> for now. <laughs> Oof. Until uh, next week. Ugh, only because so I have to. I had wrote, I had written down a four out of ten, honestly, but uh, as the, the more we, we talked us. about yeah, it, like the more what, I'm like, this doesn't really add much. It's spinning its it, it wheels. Doesn't. Um, it's focusing in inside stories and shit. Like this is great for episode seventeen. You know what I mean? And this is great. You know, this is stuff. But it, it, this is episode two, man. And and I'm already falling off. So three out of ten for me as well. Um, the best. The train cart was the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that design on that car was stupid. <laughs> Anyways, uh, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. We're going to talk spoilers now, even though we've already talked a little bit of it. But it it's, it's unfortunately <laughs> episode two is much worse than episode one. And that's what has us worried. And, man, I'm wondering, how, how, are we getting downvoted? Are people agreeing with us? Because we, we're watching this early. So we'll see how the reaction is amongst the Halo faithful. This is just how we feel about it. Uh, you know, we just got to give it to you straight. So, spoiler section next. Thank you so much. Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler section. So I don't think there's too much to spoil here. I mean, we there? kind of went over most of it, but you he know. finds out he's a chosen one. Yeah, and we find out that the Covenant have been kidnapping human beings for years. Well, there's a lot of Soren and John stuff yeah. here, where John is is uh, goes to. It looks like he's going to escape, but he's actually trying to stop Soren from escaping because he's the mil military boy, mama's boy. And he's like, dude, this isn't training. This is programming. Come with me. And he's like, no, I'm, you can stay here. But he likes his friend enough where he's like, uh, my gun has suddenly jammed. Uh, I, you have five minutes. He's like, God, man, you're such Give me asshole. ten minutes. And he's like, no, <laughs> five minutes. I'm going to alert this whole base. It's like, fuck you, John. Like, I, 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 that ma he it made me injured, mad. He got injured. And he got he injured. He got me mad at Master Chief. It was unnecessary. <laughs> for months. He said that he was living in the woods, barely yeah. surviving, being hunted for months. Mm -hmm. Because fuck you, John. John is a piece of shit. <laughs> and we get the Admiral and, and Halsley here to talk about how to get him back and have a backup plan for when they get him back, which is going to be Cortana. Uh, and then he goes to the asteroid. The, the, the shots are cool as fuck, you know, this little rubble uh, thing. Oh, I guess there's one tiny action sequence where they're flying 
amongst the asteroids and they kind of film it like uh, Battlestar Galactica where they do a lot of zooming and uh, zooming. They're and just that was trying right. to pander to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's they, they're trying to get you. But even I kind of forgot about <laughs> yeah, it. So, exactly. like, uh, so he finds, very forgettable. He goes in the hostile environment. I'm like, is this another separatist planet? They're going to fucking kill this Spartan. There's like, I don't know, thousands of people on here. What is he doing? He's and never been there before. He has no idea there. what these are. Yeah. What's going on? But it was Soren's place and I guess Soren controls the whole fucking installation. Uh, they... They they look at him mean. They even block his path with a forklift, and he, you know, man mows the forklift back and oh, you know. But then Soren diffuses the situation, and uh, basically says, "Look at what I built. You know, this is my dream. It's no freedom. Freedom. No cops. No fucking military. None of this fucking tells what to do. We do what we want to do here, mm-hmm. and and it's cool. You know? It's hey, a cool look. I like, it. I like Soren. He's awesome. It's like, what about the treatments? I was like, man, those aren't treatments. Those aren't They're treatments. Programming. You're, You're still <laughs> calling them treatments? You <laughs> dumbass, <laughs> man. Stop eating them pellets. Yeah. <laughs> they give them like rabbit pellets or something to suppress Inject- your emotions. Injected You're into an his idiot. body. Um, and then uh, the idea is cool. Yeah, I, I complain about the car, but I do like the idea of uh, you got it's your very own Super little Mario fucking Brothers. house. You get your own little yeah. fucking asteroid house, and then you drive, and I liked it. Uh, but and then put, uh, so then you talk. We do the blessed one stuff, then mm-hmm. like the guy was we go back to over the top. Which one? Uh, Reth, the guy who knows about the Keystone. Oh yeah, yeah, that was really fucking he embarrassing. Was a over Joe. the top. That was super embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> So. <laughs> so we go back to High Charity. Uh, I was looking for the, uh, the name. So High Charity, and we get this blessed one talk. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to me why the Covenant have the humans. I guess this version of the Covenant, because the Covenant is a collection of alien races, and they all like all different species, and they believe in this. So I guess maybe this Covenant doesn't mind that humans are a part of their species, so as long as... They, but they make her like she's so important. No, please don't risk your life. Don't go amongst the humans. And it's just well, I don't she's know. a key it master. Doesn't feel like because the covenant and humans they fucking hate each other. And it, I don't know. So, but Mercy is the one that took her in when she was younger. Mm. And we just don't know enough about her character yet and the way she fits into the covenant to understand why she's there and why we have to have that character they keep your mystery, other than budgetary reasons <laughs> yeah. uh, that once she leaves the installation they're like oh thank god we don't have to do all that cgi and we just focus on her um i can't think of anything else well i mean we know if we're going back with the forerunner stuff they could just said that human beings are going to be you know the stewards of the universe going forward so only, so only yeah. human beings can activate and the keys. only certain human beings. and so they they've been kid we know that they've been kidnapping human beings for decades because our that, that the guy that we meet on the planet got kidnapped decades ago and they're they're testing people with like Psychic powers, oh, that, yeah, and that's so what it is. and right. so he he can't activate it, and so the, apparently they kidnapped her. She can activate it, and Master Chief. So the, as of now, there's only two people they know. Two human blessed beings. ones, two so blessed far. ones. Yeah. Um, we get more Halsey Admiral stuff. Yeah. Don't even want to talk about it. Don't fucking care. Uh, yes. Then we get the Vishner scene. So the Vishner is on the planet, and he's like executing rebels, and he's like spouting off Shakespeare, and it's like this guy is such an over the top villain. And it just doesn't fit anywhere in this fucking Halo universe. Not even in this made-up silver timeline universe. It's like, what is his purpose? Why are we doing this? Well, he's a separate faction, like the government that's allying with the UNSC, and and they are exerting control over the separatists. And Quan's like, I'm going to get you back. But did you notice what the fuck the scene, how it was approached, how it was written? He's doing this. And then suddenly a fucking, I don't know, drone a drone is just looking at it and he looks up at the drone and he shoots it down. And then we cut to the scene of who is manning the drone or who is looking at that drone footage. It's not the UNSC. It's not. It, it's Quan on rubble. In Soren's bedroom, yeah. In Soren's bedroom. It's what? So did they send a drone light speed magic to the again, f- remember? And and she knew <laughs> exactly magic. where he was on the fucking planet murdering fuck What? If that is not yes. a condemnation of the bad writing of the what do you call it when you write yourself these write yourself out of corners. It's trite, it's 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 tropey, it doesn't make any fucking sense. And it was bad. So I was like, okay, what a they just they want to remind you that Vishner's here and he'll play a factor in here. And somewhere. he's a really bad guy. He's a really bad guy. Because he executes women. Yeah. yeah. Or he looks, oh, interesting. Uh, you know, she's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't fucking care. 
Um, then the camera goes directly back to the 1920s flapper girlfriend. Uh, Soren has a 1920s flapper girlfriend <laughs> in his house. She dresses that way. <laughs> so, okay. I, I just I don't I, fucking I don't. get the character design here. There's I like don't you know, know you know what we need to have. In the like, this is a. It's a. Do you see any time they go away from the lore? It's it's wild. I just someone someone drew a picture once, <laughs> and they're like, I drew this once. Like, what does that do with Halo? It's like, I don't know, but put it in there. It's like, yeah. all right, you're the boss. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah. I have to put yeah. this woman like in. Like the now. lady in charge of like the costume design. She's like, oh god, these fucking military things and these dude bros. You know what are what I think of the when Halo, I think get of the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, they talk a little bit about his programming and how he should break free and stuff. And and Quan wants. Oh, she also talked. The f- 1920s girlfriend was like getting it's her like, side I want plot. Justice. I want justice. So we're gonna There's get a Quan thin line between killing revenge Vish- and Vishner. Justice. We're setting up a Quan Vishner thing. Why? Halo. <laughs> what? Because because what? <laughs> Quan versus Vishner. Halo. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the fuel must flow. I should have put this at the beginning of the review. In fact, I might take this segment and put it. Quan vs. Vishner. Halo. Hey. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, lose the pellets and open your mind is basically what Soren tells oh, John. I think Equilibrium did it so much better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beat your programming subplot is coming. Uh, and then he that's when his son Ke- Kessler stamps Kessler. his um, hand. And he's got a little smiley face, and oh, that's his what symbol. Is that? He's like, I accept your, you know, he's like, you gonna protect gonna punch him a kid. now? <laughs> are we foreshad? Are we poorly foreshadowing something where Soren dies, and then he'll help this kid? I, I don't know. He's just collecting kids around the galaxy. <laughs> he's gonna turn into his own version of the Dad Batch. Like Halo's just, you know what? Dad Batch. I have a bunch no. of kids now. Uh, and we got a Great little infantry. bit. Yeah, infantry. We got a little bit. Are they doing a pending conflict between Silver Team and Master Chief? Because it seemed like maybe one of the other soldiers was, you know, one of the female ones was kind of skeptical. What and, is he doing? Yeah, and then, but but uh, one three four was. I like, think no, so because they're like programmed as well. They're like, all right, well, these are orders we have to follow. That's oh. all we know. So yeah, I do, I wonder if they're gonna play with that. We're gonna have Silver Team versus Master Chief. I want it to. I want Silver Team to break from. That's the only plot line I care about right now. Is Silver Team breaking free of their platforming, joining Master Chief, and Master Chief and Silver Team kicking Covenant ass? That's not, gonna happen. That's not what we're getting right <laughs> That's now. That's not gonna happen. Right now, we're getting all this other Come bullshit. Um, and I can see uh, they haven't even fucked up Cortana yet, but I feel like they're about to fuck up Cortana. Well, you've seen her. <laughs> yeah, we've seen her. They, I guess they did kind of already yeah, fuck up Cortana. Cortana is going to be a mind control that's going to wipe <clears throat> the brains of the Spartans and be in control of their bodies, and it's going to be wonderful. Can't yeah, wait. Yeah, but then she'll break free from her programming as well, and then there'll be uh, you know, a, a, couple, a, a team, and they'll be what we know from the games i guess is the ultimate yeah but why do we have game. to fuck up why her, do we have to do her, this her, i don't know her like main story <laughs> it's just like to get there yeah um so we, have we, to, get... we have to tear down the we have to tear down the humans we have to tear down all of these characters we have to tear down master chief we have to tear down everything that we know this de- deconstruction but it's why? this obsession of deconstruction why it's you have a more interesting story it's already laid out for you you're wasting time Anyways, he always has his helmet off. The comedy in the series is not really working. No. It, the jokes they're making are not funny they made jokes. to me. Yeah. <laughs> Which ones? Uh, Soren tries a few times. Oh, he's And I like, I like him, him enough yeah. where it's like, yeah, yeah, all yeah. Right, He gets a pass, but no one else. He gets a pass. Uh, Master they, Chief they, Dissidy eats nuts and bolts. And we get people in cages. <laughs> huh? Like, what is with this scene? Like, what is this? It's not a prison. Why are they? It's not a prison. And then, and, and Reth is so embarrassing. This performance from Reth is just so embarrassing. I was like, I can't believe I'm watching Halo, and like this is what I'm watching, and this guy who's been picked out, he, yeah, he's overacting, he's like fucking crazy, but fine, whatever. He forces Chief to touch the thing again, <laughs> as if Chief couldn't do that on his own. That was his big reveal. That, you know, just just touch it, and you're a blessed one, and yeah. Destroy what the artifacts mean? and destroy yourself is ultimately what he says. Yeah. So John gets real mad, gets the artifact, and, and slams this crazy dun, dun, person dun, dun, against dun, dun, the wall. Dun, it's like dun, 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 dun. I gotta go back to my overlords, and he puts his helmet back on. It should have been like flies off to Ultimate the Ultimate Soldier message. Five or something. The Maybe. Universal Soldier. Universal oh. Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at times that's what this <laughs> feels like. A really low budget sequel Universal to Universal Soldier uh, a Five franchise. with <laughs> Dolph Lundgren and Van Damme. You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah. <laughs> um, 
So I and and that's those. when I wrote <laughs> Soren owes John nothing, but he agrees to protect Quan and he's so fucking nice to him. He's like, man, you're so stiff, dude. Relax. After months of being, they must have on been the really. Run. They must have been really good friends in in the thing. And that I like Soren stuff. Soren stuff works. But 44 minutes in, you still don't wouldn't even know it's Halo. And then the last 10 minutes, they talk. He activates his beacon, gets in the Pelican. It looks great. I'm like, yeah, this Pelican looks great. But for one minute. What was that thing that you said a long time ago? Like you're searching for the shit. He's like, oh, it's called sec. It's called second harvest. Second harvest. Uh, it's what survivalists do. <laughs> they they eat feces of animals looking for little bits of nutrients yeah. in there. Yeah. And then I found my bit of nutrient. Yeah. It's like a pelican yeah. is flying. I'm like, oh man, do something with the pelican. Take us to Halo right now. Yeah. Um, and then stalwart Don picks up his beacon and he lands. And he gives himself up and and Silver Team is escorting him while he's um, has his helmet off, of course. <laughs> and has uh, the handcuffs on him, and we get that sort of scene of the blessed one undressing, showing her her titty, her side titty, not full titty, side titty, uh, as John explains that he feels different. And as soon as he starts talking about, I keep getting these flashes of like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, the, the doctor's Quiet. like, let's not talk about that. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's it. And then and then the the scene ends with she opens or she Cortana. presses a button on Cortana's thing. And then they smash to the credits, and you're like, she opens her oh. eyes. Cortana has been awakened. Mm -hmm. no, no, I don't think she opened her eyes. Did yeah, she, she did. Okay, yeah. <laughs> whatever. She's been awakened. <laughs> oh, <laughs> awake. Uh, <laughs> UNSC politics are boring. Yes. Uh, nobody gives a shit about the political maneuvering, and Correct. whenever the show isn't focusing on the Covenant threat, it doesn't work. Yeah. This is a different chief, and uh, you know he's damaged. He's conflicted. That's what they think we want to see: a damaged, conflicted chief. Um, and UNSC politics and Quan getting revenge for her father's dumbass death. Correct. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, when are we getting to Halo? Saying. When are we getting to the Halo stuff? When are we getting to the co uh, Covenant yeah, I stuff? See the that's the stuff squad. I want to see. And that's the only reason why I would keep watching the show. And also because we're the Angry Joe show and we have to review it. Yeah. <laughs> I, it would it's the dullest possible approach to the universe. I don't understand why you would take such an uninteresting entry point in here. Wh where are the grunts? <laughs> oh, yeah, I want the grunts. Why are and the Covenant better... <laughs> not shown as diverse as they should be? The, the humans are as diverse. The cast is diverse. We're, we're doing all si kinds of things to show how diverse we are, they, but not even the Covenant are diverse. They could have just at least had, like, a grunt or some, you know, wormy dudes. One and then, grunt. And then, you know, just a big pile of worms <laughs> over there. Yeah, yeah, just doing something <laughs> weird. That, that would have been satisfying. The issue that I have is if you, were, if you had any momentum after the first episode, if you were, I'm on board, let's go. Any momentum that they had, they just absolutely obliterated. Destroyed it with and this so episode. And th so yep. the issue is, is it, even if you're a, a fan of the show and you want it to go forward and you're willing to see what they do in a season two, you have to be upset that we started off on a relative, uh, for me, because my, my expectations were terrible, yeah. right? A relative high point for yeah. the show. Mm -hmm. And then now we are just like, we are free falling into obscurity. I just don't don't give a shit about the show right now. Mm -hmm. Like, who thought, who watched episode two and went, this is where we need to go? And you have to wait a week. No, and we're going Cortana. We know that may not be the right Cortana. <laughs> What'd you not. say, Joe? No, it's not. No, I was just confirming. Yeah, development was supposed to be in, uh, it was planned to be released 2015. So oh, it's been in back development in the hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So producers, so I could see. Damn, where, man, this has been messed with. Uh, yeah, uh, big time. Quite a bit. Even with the second episode, there's I no confidence. I told you it was Spielberg. <laughs> it was. That, 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 def I, that cart scene is definitely Spielberg. I swear to God that Neil Blomkoff's Halo would have been better than this. Oh, for sure. Way better than this. I'd rather watch, watch that. watch his Halo I'd short film. I'd rather watch film. that. Uh, um, what is it called again? Uh, fucking shortfall or something like that. Uh, Landfall. Go look it up on YouTube. Anyways, guys, this is um, sad to see an awesome IP kind of get chewed up and treated in this way. Is it good at times? Yeah, but it's more boring and bad at times than, than, than anything. Would you want to sit through an I, hour? No, man. Maybe, maybe towards the end of the season, maybe like it gets good, and then season two is where we really need to start. If that's the case, we'll report it to you. But uh, if not, if you want to go through the misery of uh, every episode with us, uh, we're on board, man. Uh, come come visit us every week, okay, guys? So we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.